Welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Today we have a question sent in by Terry. If you have a question for the podcast, please either call and leave us a voicemail or drop me an email at bill at mrexcel.com and we'll get to you on a future podcast. Now Terry had a question about the fill handle. He uses the fill handle a lot, but uses the autofill options box that pops up to control whether he should fill the series or copy. And I have to admit that I never really even paid attention to this little icon that pops up. It gives us a choice to either copy cells or fill the series. So in this case, because we had a numeric value, it copied the cells. But we could change it to fill the series, so it would fill in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Terry's big problem is this icon hides the data in the next row. So we just copied everything down from down to row 6. He now needs to look at row 7, but the icon is there and hiding the data in B7. And there doesn't seem to be any good way to get rid of it. I figure, well, we could simply hit the escape key, and that doesn't seem to do it. Terry said, if I save the worksheet, it gets rid of it, but that has to be a real pain to go through and do it. I mean, I've tried various things, selecting a different cell and then hitting escape, selecting a range of cells, hitting escape, and the, the thing just stays there, it persists. Terry says, I like that option to be there because sometimes I need to copy and sometimes I need to fill the series, so I don't want to turn it off. And what I'm going to propose to Terry is that we do turn it off, but I show you how to control whether you fill the series or whether you copy. So to turn it off, we go to Tools, Options, and then choose the Edit tab. On the Edit tab, over on the right-hand side, there's something called Show Paste Options button. We click OK, and now when we drag the fill handle, it will not show us that icon. The icon doesn't persist. Now here's the problem. We have to learn how to control whether to fill the series or not. And it's a different set of rules whether you have a numeric value or a date. So let's say that we have a numeric value like 6, and we want to extend that series 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The trick is to hold down the Control key. When you hold down the control key, Excel will extend the series 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you wanted to copy the 6, you wouldn't do anything. you just grab the fill handle and drag, and it will fill in 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. Now, if you have dates, though, or text, it works completely opposite. If you just grab the fill handle and drag, it will extend the series the 15th, the 16th, the 17th. If you want to copy, then you have to hold down the control key while you click and drag and it will copy the values. So knowing when to hold down the control key or not to hold the control key seems to solve the problem and it gets rid of that icon that pops up. Now, I know with several thousand people watching this podcast, I'm going to get lots of email today saying, hey Bill, there's a really easy way to get rid of the icon. Please feel free to let me know and I'll put that on a future podcast and also send a note to Terry. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.